Whew. I might quit acting. I want to work with those guys. <laughs> They're so cool. Um, but instead, let's do more color stuff. Um, Open Color IO is an open source framework that enables consistent color of motion pictures across multiple facilities and software applications. Developed at Sony Pictures Imageworks in 2003, Open Color IO works with other color management systems to provide a full color pipeline. Open Color IO can be downloaded from the web. It also provides a complete set of building blocks that allows users to create custom color management profiles from their workflows. These color profiles can be rolled out into entire facilities. Nice. Everybody loves free software, right? Yep. <laughs> Open Color IO represents the culmination of years of production experience earned on such films as Spider-Man 2 and many, many more. For the development for the development of Open Color IO color management framework, the Academy presents Jeremy Salon and with the technical the, the technical achievement award. Apologize. <clears throat> Thank you. There's no possible way I can uh, one-up Josh Pines here, so I'm just going to keep it simple. I'd like to thank everyone who has contributed to Open Color I.O. Thanks to uh, Rob Bredo for making this open source project possible. It really wouldn't have happened without him. <laughs> Thanks to Malcolm Humphreys, Ben Dixon, and the rest of our open source uh, developer community. Also, a big thanks to Imageworks Artists and its technical leadership, both past and present. Now to get serious for a moment. Back in 1900, Lord Kelvin famously predicted that there is nothing new left to be discovered in physics. Yet what followed was one of the richest centuries of discovery in history. This is true. Now it's all too easy to look at our industry today in visual effects and animation and be similarly pessimistic. Because of economic challenges and maturing tool sets, many of the brightest minds, tonight even, have left for other fields. However, I suggest that there's really something special about digital motion picture technology. Our industry, and I, I really believe this, is one of the rare examples where Moore's Law directly advances creative potential. And as such, no one can predict the future for this industry. And considering that our paintbrushes, to use an analogy, get 10 times more powerful every decade, we certainly still have reason to be optimistic. So thank you.